Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everyone is feeling well on this fine and beautiful Wednesday morning. We are here because we're going to do a little bit of guided, well, guided meditation, but actually we've got, I've got something a little bit different for today. So we're working with Vishuddha Chakra, the throat, and that is everything to do with vibration and resonance, what we resonate with, what we magnetize towards us, what we um, attract. So I was feeling into this last night and I thought, yes, we're going to get the beads again. So if you have any um, mala beads or rosary or anything, then grab that. You don't need to have that at all. If you don't have the beads, you just use your hands and you literally take your thumb to your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger and your little finger. So you just use that as a pulse. Okay, but before we do that, we're going to do a breath practice and we're going to work with Barami breath, which is, a, is commonly known as the bee breath. So I'm hoping between these two things, by the time we do our 20 minute practice, you are going to feel amazing and go and have the most positive high vibe day possible. This is the plan. Let's see, shall we? So get yourself comfortable. You can be lying down, you can be sitting. Whichever option you go for, just be sure that your spine is straight. Use as much pillows or blankets or cushions to make yourself cosy. I think there's something really um, important about setting up your sacred space for your practice. So you might notice I usually have flowers from the garden if I can, I'll have candles lit, I'll have an essential oil. It's about bringing, so my whole, I'm really passionate about spiritual practices being accessible while you're cho chopping carrots because I think that in needing to carve out time in your day, especially if you're a mum with young kids, it's just an, or oh, I don't know why them in particular, all of us, we're so busy and um I don't think that spirituality should be another job on the job list. I think it should be a, a way of doing the jobs that are already on your job list, but bringing the element of divine in to that. So um, just bringing these, these little cues of this is special, this is important, this is sacred. Um, for me, they just turn the energy of my day to be a little bit more beautiful and that is the beginning of my well-being practice. Okay, that's enough chit chat. So dropping the eyelids, letting the shoulders come away from the ears. And just checking in with our breath before we go anywhere with our practice. How are we feeling today? How is our breath moving through our body? How is the inhale and how is the exhale? And perhaps feeling into the space between the breaths. The space between the breaths is like the space between stimulus and response. It's that beautiful Victor Franklin quote, between stimulus and response there is a space and in that space we get to choose. How are we choosing? What vibration are we tuning into for today? Keeping the eyelids down, let's bring a little bit of movement in to tap into the fluidity of our bodies and our life. So dropping right ear down to right shoulder, chin down to chest, left ear to left shoulder, 
then coming up and over. Excuse me while I blow my nose. And then changing direction, circling the other way. And then feeling into circles with the shoulders, inhaling as they come up, exhaling as they go back and down. And if you have space, maybe circling elbows or even full arm extensions. Moving the way that feels as good as it can possibly feel for you. And let's take arms up above head and wake our diaphragms up by reaching up high, folding elbows, holding on to either elbow. So a deep diaphragmatic breath means that as you inhale, the tummy expands. And as you exhale, the tummy draws back towards the spine. And then bringing your arms down to your sides. Brahmi breath is really simple and really wonderful. You're going to press your tongue up into the roof of your mouth, just behind the row of teeth. And you're going to bring your fingers and close your ears. You might need to leave your ears open while I give you the instructions. But when we begin, you're going to close your ears. And you're going to <laughs> drop your chin down. And then you're going to make a, a sound at the back of your throat. Just a, um, we could go back to that ah sound that we did on Monday. So experiment, bring your fingertips to your ears, close your ears off, drop your chin down. And then let that vibration of ah start to move through the back of your throat. And when you reach the end of that long uh, exhale, take a breath in and then repeat again. And we're just going to roll with that breath. Um, so creating that sound, feeling that sound. It, some people call it a skull shaking practice because you kind of get this vibrational sound happening. We're going to do that for five minutes. So take your time, get comfortable, be soft and gentle with yourself.
Be sure the shoulders are away from your ears. Check that the neck stays easy. Take any breaks that you need. Sometimes this is described as a breath for, to calm the busy mind. When you feel you've done enough, bring your hands down into your lap. Notice how you feel. And then we're going to spend the next 10 minutes doing a gratitude practice. So if you've got the beads, you're going to take the first bead, which is usually the, the side of the queen bead, which is the one with the tassel on. And you're gonna say to yourself, I'm grateful for, and end the sentence. And you're gonna move through the beads, repeating, I'm grateful for, I'm grateful for. And you are allowed to repeat the same thing over and over again you're allowed to come up with different things each time. Nobody's listening. There's no gratitude police watching your practice. But if you're using the beads, then you're gonna go 108 times. If you're using your hands, you're just gonna use your fingers to keep that pulse of the practice going. And then when you're done, you're gonna bring your hands into your lap. And the whole time that you're doing it, there's no rushing, the mind wants to quickly kind of come with a solution, doesn't it? But actually just release that and, and flow, with, flow with what comes up without any kind of judgment as to what's right or what's wrong. And let's see where we go. So I'm gonna do my 108 and then I'll let you know when I get to the end of that. So if you are doing the hands, you can just trust that I will get to 108 and, and indicate that it's time to bring your hands into your lap. So smooth breaths, I am grateful for.
And taking your time when you're ready, just bringing your hands back into your lap. Noticing how you feel and also how you felt. I noticed for myself that when there are some things when I'm saying I'm grateful for them, it makes me smile. And there's other things that when I say I'm grateful for them, there's almost like a, oh, I should be grateful for, sense of duty. And just starting to tune into those things that make you smile, those things where you actually feel your spirit lift when you call them to mind. Those are the things to fill your days with and your life with should you choose. And so bringing your hands to your heart center when you're ready. So that was a little bit of bee breath and a little bit of a gratitude practice for you to start your day. I hope you have a glorious day and that the whole day is infused with that gratitude practice. Namaste everybody. Well done, well done, well done. And I just had to say to the people on Facebook, I never get to reply when you say good morning. I'm like, good morning, but I can't do that because I'm with the Zoom group as well. So I'm not ignoring you. Thank you.